I usually like to take a topography prior to using Etoric IOL, mm -hmm. and I do a manual, and I do also a auto K, mm -hmm. aut automated keratometry. And now with the lens star, I'm finding out that my measurements are uh, jiving exactly with the auto keratometry and uh, with the uh, with the manual keratometry to the point where I really I'm using them automatically now for my calculations of uh, the axis of astigmatism and the amount of astigmatism to be used. And this is what we found as well. And this is actually the very first automated instrument that we found to be reliable enough to use with uh, toric IOLs. We're still using the Javal keratometer just because I can't help myself. But um, we're relying more and more on the Lensstar case and we're finding them to be um, reliable and very, very accurate. Interesting enough, I just did a small study just measuring my eyes with the, uh, to, to look at repeatability and the reproducibility of the measurements. And uh, the precision of the keratometry on the lens star, I found it to be exquisite. And we found the same thing. When we do the same measurement multiple times, the reproducibility is probably the best that I've seen so far. And again, this was a surprise. When we got the lens star, we looked at it basically as just an auto keratometer connected to a nice biometer. And it was amazing that the keratometry has popped up as one of the really stunning features of this instrument.